All right, so we have the most horrific things that the Dark Elder have done. This video is by Major Kill. Before we even get right into it, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the you know support over the over the last videos and stuff like that. I really appreciate it, man. Let's get right to it. Hey guys and gal, when you think of the bad guys, thank y'all, man. Thank y'all, man. You probably think about chaos, about demons. Sure, the Dark Elder are the bad guys, but they are just kind of doing their thing in the naughty corner, right? Like, sure, they take slaves and torture people, but so oh my. chaos, right? Well, yeah. But saying chaos and the Dark Elder are at the same level of evil is like saying that the 18-year-old drunk kid who got caught peeing in a playground at nighttime and is now a registered sex offender is on the same level as Jeffrey Dahmer. The Dark Elder just... Those are not... Uh, okay, no, I can't lie to you. I'm about to say those are not even compatible. Bro, those are... Th bro, listen, those are two horrible situations. Let me just say that, okay? Take things to a whole nother level. So much so, in fact, that I thought it'd be worth checking out the five worst things the Dark Elder have ever done. After all, they are extremely creative when it comes to absolutely ruining someone's shit. Before we get started, I just wanted to quickly say thank you for the amazing support on the recent Patreon posts. Amazing to see hundreds of new people join up to support the channel. I mean, incredibly oh, that's nice, man. Naked female Shout out to the Major, Major Kill crew models, or whatever, whatever, whatever he calls y'all, man. I'll definitely be looking for future models and cosplay shoots for the future. Maybe the hawk-eyed viewers of you have even seen the new eyes. Yo, real quick before we get the video started. Yo, where can I get like Warhammer, like, you know, like, uh like uh like warhammer like um dang like what do you call them like figures and like and like you know stuff like this like where can i get this like and i don't want to get scammed either like like legit like where do i like get stuff like this at because to be honest with you like i was actually thinking about like you know getting some stuff and send it up like behind me and stuff like that but i don't know like any website or, or like any official like i'm looking for stuff that's like official you know i don't want like any like you know um like i don't want to get scammed or nothing like that basically you know this we have going on in the background to say cheers for this recent explosion and support i've commissioned my best artist to make a new sexy warhammer piece for all patrons one dollar and up that's oh, it that's it legitimately nice. just costs one dollar obviously if you want to give me more that's mad but i never really <laughs> wanted a patron to be this like premium 15 dollar club thingo okay. each person giving me a dollar a month is already supporting the channel around 800 times more than someone giving zero that's pretty dope. Today we'll go okay. over five of the most twisted, horrific, and low-key awesome things the Dark Elder have done. Awesome. Showing that they really are the baddest of them all. Uh, let's get into let's it. Let's get into it! Here we go. There is nothing quite as cute as town naivety. Sure, in the current setting, they have learnt a lot of harsh lessons and have become just as douchey, racist, and jaded as any other 40k oh, faction. Oh, no. But their first interaction with the other factions was always a treat. For the reader, not for the Tau. The most horrific of these meetings was between the Dark Elder and the Tau. The Tau weren't aware that the Dark Elder captured billions of slaves and then murder fucked them to death. So when the Dark Elder offered to help the Tau defend themselves against the Tyranids, the results were horrifying. The Dark Elder initially proved to be steadfast allies. Their weapons and tactics were really good against the Nids, and combined with Tau forces, the space bugs were squashed without too much drama. Then the Dark Elder requested their price for their aid. 77 Tau of each cast, as well as 7 Ethereals. The Tau didn't really know what the Dark Elder wanted the 77 of each cast for, as the Dark Elder just called it a cultural exchange. But the Tau did not want to hand over 7 Ethereals, as each Ethereal is like a literal Tau Jesus in their empire. So they gave over the 308 Tau, but no Ethereals. Next time the Dark Elder fought for the Tau, they employed the use of new gene-crafted abominations that moaned in agony as they fought and killed the Nids. The Tau realized, to their horror, that the new abominations were the 308 Tau fused together to form agonized, crazed juggernauts. This was obviously a bit too fucked up for the Tau, who then called for reinforcements from a nearby world and tried to destroy the Dark Elder fleet. However, in return, the Dark Elder then stealthily traveled to the now undefended nearby world, sieging it, pillaging it, and raping it, before stealing its entire populace to be used as slaves. Yo! Oh! Oh my god, bro, what's with them and slaves? Like, bro, that's like their whole gig. Like, jeez Louise. Bro, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. Bro, I'm with that, bro. I'm with that team, bro. They said, listen, listen, bro. Listen, we'll give you high, bro, we'll give you silver, but you cannot get our gold. They, bro, they, listen, they said, bro, we'll give you 380 whatever, but you're not getting none of this Imperium, bro. You're not getting any of this gold. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you, bro. Listen, I'm gonna be honest, you can have the scraps, but whenever it comes to the meaty parts of the chicken, 
That's ours, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be complete. As a matter of fact, bro, when I, once I'm done eating a chicken or whatever, bro, you can have the bones, bro. You're not getting the most viable, you know, meaty part of this, bro. I'm, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. Flesh lights or materials for new abominations. Why did the Dark Elder do this? Well, because they thought it was funny. It's unclear if the Dark Elder would have honored the agreement with the Tao if they had been given their seven ethereals or if they would have fucked them over anyway. I mean, bro, they would have just, they would have, they, they would have just, wait. So they was like, bro, since you don't want to pay up, since you want to pay your full debt, bro, we'll just Uncle Sam you, bro. Bro, we're like the IRS, bro. We'll take anything. We, bro, listen, as soon as, bro, as soon as money hits your account, it's ours. They're, bro, they're like the IRS. If you get it, bro, if you get any amount of money that you owe to us, bro, okay, it's okay, bro. See, you might think you're in the clear. No, you're not. Bro, every time a cent hit your account, ours. Every time a dollar hit your account, ours. Bro, they say, you know what? You don't want to give us the the, 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 the full payment? I got you. Don't worry. Hey, hey, bro. Don't worry, bro. Don't worry. We'll, we'll just kill you. That, basically, we'll just laugh at you and kill you. That's that's ridiculous. That's, Regardless, that's ridiculous. Regardless, found out the hard way. Funnily enough, their naivety was such that they didn't realize that the Dark Elder and other Eldar factions were different. So they attacked Exodite Elder in revenge causing a war between the Tau and the Elder over a misunderstanding bred from a bunch of blue bovine aliens. They attacked the wrong Viking elders? The boys were different from the rest of the Eldar race. This next horrifying Dark Elder moment isn't so much a single moment as a fun little collection. The homunculi are the Dark Elder responsible for most of the bad shit, as they are the ones that figured out how to keep someone alive and conscious well beyond when they should be dead, or at least unconscious. Some of their highlights include flaying, flensing, drilling, and desecrating a bunch of slaves, and turning them into living wind chimes. So whenever the wind passes through them, it causes them insane agony, whilst also producing beautiful music. Yo, imagine you being like, yo, first of all, them and slaves, bro, I don't know what type of kink they're on, but that's crazy. Bro, imagine, like, <laughs> and it's not funny. I'm not, I'm not laughing, but bro... <laughs> Imagine like you're like a slave or whatever in YouTube. I'm talking about slave in the game. Imagine you're like a slave or whatever, bro. And they hooked up some type of like mechanism to your body to the point to where like you're dead or whatever. But like the mechanism is still going. So basically you're like a living dead person. And like every time like 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 wind blows by, all you hear is vroom vroom. I make me mom's call. <laughs> Another cute little trick they employ is being able to put someone in stasis but keep their mind awake. This doesn't sound too bad until you imagine lying down in the dark, unable to move but completely awake the entire time, for decades, centuries or millennia. That would be fucking horrific. They've also managed to carve people up, using their flesh, organs and nerves to create a living chandelier, oh, keeping no. the new fleshy ornaments alive and aware for the entire thing. They've even literally turned people into sentient soup and then either consumed it or given it to others to consume. Yo, so we're soup now? Are you si Bro, we're chicken noodle soup now? Are you, bro, are you losing your mind? Bro, are you drinking booty right now? Or are you, like, at it? Like, is this not working for you? What do you mean they turned these little things into soup? So we're soup now? Oh, brother. Sentient fucking soup. No one can match the twisted gene craft of the homunculi. They can even bring the Dark Elder back from the dead, even if all they can recover is pieces of flesh or limbs. Pretty much any fucked, humiliating torture that you can conceive of has been tried and tested by the homunculi on pretty much every faction. Chaos Lords have been turned They can't even God. die. Fuck, even custodies haven't been spared. It's horrifying shit. This next one is a great example of how trivial everyone else's idea of psychological warfare is compared to the Dark Elder. The Night Lords like to think of themselves as masters of torture, fear, and darkness. So the Dark Elder decided it was time to show the Sons of Nostromo who was boss. The Night Lords had recently attacked the Dark Elder ship, killing a few homunculi on board. 
After being brought back to life, the homunculi decided to teach those Astartes a lesson. They tracked the Night Lords to a world that the Trader Marines began tormenting, but they did it in such a classic vanilla way. Destroy the world's power grids, turn off the lights, and then begun hunting and killing. The Dark Elder had a better way. They brought a device that shrouded the entire planet in absolute darkness. Darkness so overwhelming that even the Night Lords couldn't see through it. Then the Dark Elder used thousands of mandrakes, horrifying shadow monsters, to ambush and kill the Night Lords. During this time, the Night Lords slowly but surely began to fear the dark, their own tactics being used significantly more effectively against them. Eventually, they were able to destroy the device, but upon the darkness receding, they found the world stripped of all life and many of their battle brothers dead or gone. To make matters worse, the surviving Night Lords all now had an intense fear of the dark. Space Marines rarely feel- Bro, they need a- Bro, they need a- uh, uh, What do they call it? A night light. Oh, bro, man, they can't, bro, they're gonna get scared in their sleep, bro. Every time they close their eyes, bro, they screaming. Oh, man, bro. Can I get a kiss? And can you make it last forever? Oh, wow. Fear and it That's crazy. It. However, the Dark Elder had made the Night Lords, the self-proclaimed masters of darkness, absolutely shit scared of their own shadows. The Dark Elder often uses classic beatable bad guys, sometimes even quite incompetent. However, if you personally piss off an Archon or notable Dark Elder character, you are going to have a shit one. The Raven Guard learnt this the hard way. See, the Raven Guard had been striking against the Dark Elder sub-faction and had been succeeding. So the Dark Elder laid a trap, luring the Raven Guard onto a world and then engaging them in battle. They killed some, captured a few more, however the heroics of the Raven Guard led them to free their battle brothers. Overall, seemingly a victory for the Raven Guard. However, this was all according to plan. 100 years later, all of those captured Raven Guard who were freed, or new Raven Guard who were created using the gene scene taken from those original captured Raven Guard, rapidly mutated into monsters that attacked their allies. Thus, the Raven Guard lost warriors from the initial battle, lost warriors who had been captured, Ooh. and lost warriors in the monster attack. To Ooh. make matters worse, the Raven Guard couldn't detect the flawed gene seed virus, so they had to kill an entire generation of aspirants to ensure the Dark Elder gene seed virus was destroyed. Destroyed. Overall, a huge setback for the Sons of Corvus. Imagine getting devastated by a small forgotten skirmish a century before. That kind of shit really builds up the paranoia. And finally, the most horrifying, terrifying thing right, Dark Elder can do is purely just exist. For all the suffering they inflict, Dark Elder have it so much worse. Imagine you are a Dark Elder. You are vat grown into a dark city full of rapists and murderers. You're on the bottom of the pecking order, hunted for sport and forced to live like a degenerate to survive. Suicide isn't an option, as that would mean your soul is consumed by Slanesh. A fate- bro, bro, you're already done. What, what do you mean? What do you mean your soul is consumed by- Bro, you're done. Bro, your soul's already doomed. What are we talking about? Bro, you're forced to do evil things. Like, that's- That's- <laughs> Like, bro, there's no free will. Like, bro, you get the thrill off doing bad things naturally. You came out the womb a natural born demon. Like, this is what it is. What, what do you, your soul is consumed by, no, bro, your soul, bro, your soul is already, you don't have one. What are you, what are you talking, bro, if you're doing that, bro, if you're killing and R word and whatever, bro, you don't have one. You don't have a soul. That doesn't exist. What are we talking about? Are, bro, are we cuckoo for buku buffs? What's going on? Much worse than death. You also can't just hide or escape as your body would start withering as Slanesh claimed it. The only way to stop this slow withering death is to inflict pain. To do this, you have to join a cabal, likely by impressing the Archon via killing other Dark Eldar. Once you're in the Cabal, your struggles have only really just begun. Risking your life on raids in Imperial space, always watching your back against your fellow warriors who would slit your throat at a moment's notice if they think it could improve their standing. Even Vect, Lord of Komorah and the most revered Dark Elder in existence, is constantly paranoid about assassins and traitors. The dude has been killed before. Your life is a constantly paranoid existence, where you can trust nobody and everyone hates you. There is also no escape. The only way to actually have a chance at a somewhat not dog shit life is to renounce the Dark Elder and join the Yanari or a craft world. That's right, the only way to avoid the horrors of being a Dark Elder is to stop being a Dark Elder. So the next time a Dark Elder is skinning your flesh whilst destroying your asshole with their spiky metal strap on, just remember who the real victim okay, is. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Empathy. If you enjoy the <laughs> Yo, major kill. That last sentence was absolutely brazy. You, why did he say that? Destroy your what with the whom? That's crazy, man. Um, the Dark Elder absolutely uh, menaces. Um, uh, bro, I'm still just like, 
bro, the more and more I dive off, bro, the more and more I, I dive deep into this franchise, bro, I, I, I'm, I'm learning new, like, I'm learning some cool things, but at the same time, there's always a flip to everything. I'm learning some, some evil, dark things. I would never in my life ever be uh, a, a, a dark elder. And, bro, let me find out one of you guys is claiming the dark after. Yo, yo, yo. Let me find out. It, it, bro, if I, if I go in the comments, right? First of all, shout out to everybody who's commenting out in the video and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. But if I go in the comments, right? And I see somebody say, yeah, yeah, dark elder. elder yeah. Yo, you know, bro, I'm going to pull you to the side, bro. I'm going to pull you to the side. We're going to have a talk. Because there's no way you should be on this team right here. You, you heard the, 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 the requirements of being on this team. Let me find out. Yo, let me find out. A viewer right here is saying, yeah, Dark Elder. Pumping they fists up like they just won the Super Bowl. Let me find out. I promise you. I'm going to put you to the side, bro. We're going to have a conversation, bro. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys at Race Mount. And peace out, yo.